Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do a beauty haul. I was going through all my makeup and clearing out things that were old or just didn't see the need for anymore and I realised that I've actually bought quite a lot of new products recently. So some of them are used already but the majority of them I still haven't used yet so I thought I would just show you a collection of what I have picked up recently. Some of them, most of them are beauty related products and there is a few like skincare products in there too. So I'm just gonna show you what I've picked up recently. So skincare wise, I have picked up three new products that I want to try. So the first one is the Biore, Biore, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it is the charcoal pore minimizer. I tend to have quite large pores along my T-zone and across my nose. So I thought I would give this a try. Apparently this is meant to like reduce the size of your pores. I will let you know how I get on with this. It's black, like the, the solution of it's black because it's obviously charcoal, but I've been reading quite a lot of reviews on this and people are absolutely loving it, so I thought I would pick it up and give it a go. The next product I picked up was some nose strips. Good old trusty nose strips. So these are just the Super Drug, Super Drug own brand, the tea tree skincare ones, so picked up some of those and this product I have had before and absolutely loved it so I had to get a new one and it is the number seven beautiful skin hot cloth cleanser and then you get a muslin cloth with it as well. This product is so good. I love this product so much. I've been through quite a lot of these actually. Basically you soak your muslin cloth in warm water, put this on your face and just let it like sink in and then you wash it off with your muslin cloth and it leaves your skin feeling so soft and rehydrated and I think it's probably one of the best skincare products I've tried and it's one that I keep going back to a lot of. So I had to get another one of these and this actually lasts a long time. This is a 200ml bottle and it takes me a long time to get through this because you're only using like one pump at a time. but. I love this product so much. I think this is one of my favorite like skincare products. So I had to get another one of those. So next it's onto all of the beauty products that I've bought recently. And the first thing is I picked up all of the Tanya Burr new lipsticks. These are so beautiful. I have used one of them so far and that is the Pink Cocoa, which is this one. I'll show you this one. So that is pink cocoa. It's a very like dusky pink browny shade and I absolutely love it. It's perfect sort of like post Christmas but you're still in winter time. So that is, I have been using this and I've been absolutely loving it. The other shades that she has brought out is Big Kiss which is a beautiful red coloured lipstick. There is Birthday Cake, which is a properly nude coloured lipstick, which is very pretty. Next we have Central Park, which is a like bright pink coloured one and it is gorgeous. Can't wait to wear that in the summertime. Wild Safari is another one. It's like a sort of red corally coloured lip product which I'll be interested to try because I don't think I've ever tried anything in this colour before. And the other one that she has released is a, it's called Happily Ever After and it's like a corally nude coloured one which is very pretty as well. The perfect sort of for spring, summertime. So, so far with the Pink Coco, I have been loving the consistency of it. It applies so nicely and it lasts really, really well. So very excited to try the other products. Also from Tanya Burr's Cosmetics I picked up the three illuminators. Well these are the three cheek illuminators, I haven't picked up the body ones yet. So there is Holiday Happiness which is a sort of a pink coloured highlighter. Also Golden Girl which is sort of like a bronzy coloured one. Then there is oh, um, what's this one called? Forever, Sh Forever Summer, which is 
like a champagne colored cheek illuminator. So I'm excited to try those as highlighters on my cheeks. Some other lip products that I have picked up, I went on like a binge of having to buy like lots of lipsticks. So the first one is a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in the colour Walk of Shame. And that is what that looks like. It's a very sort of brown shade, I would say. It's like a ready brown colour. Even from Charlotte Tilbury, I picked up the Red Carpet Red. I have been wanting this lipstick for so long. Very deep red toned and it is absolutely gorgeous. So, so beautiful. As are all her lipsticks. Like, there's not one I don't think I don't like. And the last one from Charlotte Tilbury that I picked up, still in the box, I only just bought this, was Amazing Grace. So this is more of like a pink coloured one. And again, very, very pretty. So I thought this would be nice for springtime. Also went onto the Tarte website and I picked up one of their lip paints in the colour. It's such a dark product and then they put the writing on the bottom in black, which is really difficult to find and see. This is called Acid Wash. Such a wonderful name, isn't it? But that it's a very, very dark purple coloured lip product. It would remind me on a sort of browner toned Glastonbury from Charlotte Tilbury. That's basically what this is. So I'm excited to try this on to see how their matte liquid lipsticks apply and last, especially since they are slightly on the pricier side and you can only buy them in America or you can buy them online and ship them over, but that will obviously cost you lots of money. So I want to know, is it worth it, basically? As well as the lipstick from Tarte, I also picked up the Tarte It's Pro from Tarte Cosmetics. And I haven't used this. This is the Tarte palette. It's the Amazon Clay Palette and it is absolutely beautiful. So you get 16 matte colours and 4 shimmer colours. And along with this, which I think is really, really good, they give you 4 different makeup looks that you can try and tell you how to do them and what products to use. So I will definitely be giving that a go. I might even make a video out of it. Me trying to do their suggested eye looks that could be quite funny, I think. So, this I've been wanting this palette for ages and every time I went onto the Tarte website it was out of stock. So as soon as I got the email to say that it was back in again, I jumped and had to get it. So I'm very excited to try this because the colours on it are just absolutely stunning. Like there's not one colour there that I don't like and I don't think I wouldn't use. So very happy about this palette. I'm very excited to use it. I also picked up a new Give Me Brow, Give Me Brow, Give Me Brow, Brow Volumizing Fibre Gel in the colour Medium, I think this is. Or it was Medium, it's now the number three. Um, I was just running out, so I needed a new one, so I thought I would pick it up. And I absolutely love the packaging. Like they've re rebranded all the packaging, and I absolutely love it. It's just so cute. So that is the new. Benefit Gimme give, give Brow. So it's basically just like a little mini mascara for your eyebrows, which I absolutely love. I also picked up a Perfect Eyes Duo highlighter pencil from Kiko Milano. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's like, it's double-ended. So it's like a concealer at one end to basically shape out your eyebrows. And then there's like a highlighting pencil at the other end. So. I thought I would give this a go and see what this is like because I'm really bad at shaping my eyebrows and using concealer and highlighting them so I thought maybe a pencil might help me in doing so. So pick this up to see what this one's like. So yeah, let me know if any of you have tried this product. I'd be interested to see what you think of it. I also have picked up the new Hourglass palette because I absolutely loved the first one that whenever they released another one I knew that I had to get it. 
So this one's slightly different from the other one, obviously. The other one there was six colours. This one has four and then a big long one, which I actually think this colour here, which is called Finishing Powder Surreal Light, would actually be really good for setting your makeup. So that's what I plan to use this one for. This one here acts as a bronzer, whereas these two are blushers down at the bottom and this one is a strobe powder. I don't actually know what a strobe powder is, so if anybody knows, let me know in the comments below. Finally, the last thing that I picked up, I bought this just before Christmas, is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit. I had been umming and eyeing a lot about this palette because I didn't know if I wanted it. There were so many other sort of highlighting palettes out there. I went for it, I bit the bullet and I bought it. So this is the Ultimate Glow and there is six colours. Let's see if I can read this upside down. Snow, White Sand, Golden Dawn, Sunray, Amber Gold and Hot Sand. And these are beautiful. They, they're sort of one of those ones where you just want to have a look at it and not ever use it because it's just too pretty to use. That is what this palette is. But I really want to use it and I will use it. That is the last thing I picked up. My recent sort of last few month beauty purchases. So very excited to try this. Let me know if you have this and what you think of it as well because the colours on are just beautiful that I actually can't wait to try it as a highlighter. So yeah, very excited to try this. So I'll link everything that I can in the description bar if I can find it. Let me know your thoughts on any of these products if you have them or anything similar. I'm always on the hunt for other new exciting products. So make sure and hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Be up here, I think. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you next time. Bye.